Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a trip back in time to the swinging 60s, when the Beatles ruled the music, seen with their infectious tunes. One of their iconic songs that captured the spirit of the era was back in the U. SSR, so fasten your seatbelts as we dive into the world of this memorable hit. Picture this. The year is 1968. <laughs> and John, Paul, George, and Ringo have just hopped off a plane that landed in Miami Beach. They didn't even get a chance to catch some shut-eye the night before, but here they are, back on American soil. The journey was a bit of a nightmare, with a paper bag resting precariously on John's knee. It's safe to say they had a dreadful flight, but hey, they made it. As they touched down in the USSR, the Fab Four realized just how lucky they are to be back home. They had been away for so long that they hardly recognized the place, but the feeling of being back where they belong is indescribable. They can't wait to unpack their suitcases, but for now, they tell their loved ones to disconnect the phone. It's time to enjoy this homecoming. The Beatles sing about the excitement they felt when they first arrived in the Soviet Union. The Ukraine girls really knocked them out with their beauty, leaving all the girls from the West far behind. And let's not forget about the Moscow girls, who made them sing and shout with joy. There's just something about the allure of Georgia that always stays on their mind. With their trademark upbeat energy, the Beatles can't help but express their happiness by shouting and yelling, woo! And hell yeah, they want everyone to join in on their excitement because being back in the U.S., SR feels like a dream come true. The Beatles chant the chorus, making sure everyone realizes just how lucky they are to be in this moment. In the bridge, they ask the locals to show them around the majestic, snow-peaked mountains of Russia, down south. They want to experience everything that makes the USS. Our special, from visit, in Daddy's Farms to hearing the enchanting sounds of the balalaikas. The Beatles want to connect with the people, to feel the warmth of camaraderie. As the song comes to a close, the Beatles can't contain their happiness. They're thrilled to be back in the U.S. S. R. And they want to share their joy with everyone. It's good to be home, and they want to make sure everyone knows it. They invite the audience to join them in celebrating this homecoming because in their minds, it's an incredible experience. And there you have it, folks. The Beatles back in the USSR is a lively tribute to the excitement of returning home after a long journey with catchy melodies and relatable lyrics. It's no wonder this song became an instant hit. So let's channel our inner Beatle and embrace the joy of being back in the US. SR. <laughs> <laughs>